Hi guys, this is Tom, and uh, I got my uh, Raymond uh, DC electric motor out here. Uh, there were some questions and and some other things, and so I thought I'd make a, a little short video here to try to explain a few things to the best of my ability about about the brushes and uh, why I wanted to break them in. So, um, and thinking back on it, I probably should have pulled the brushes out of it and showed you guys before I ever started. But uh, I didn't, but you should be able to pretty much get it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one out. So it's pretty simple. There's just a spring here. Pull that out. and lift our brush out and hopefully you'll be able to see if we can't zoom in here hopefully you can see the scratches here on the brush and all of it but let's see here I'm kind of surprised it would be a hundred percent it's a little a little bit right here on this corner is not seated in yet and maybe I can get a different angle here and you can see maybe that it has a radius you know a bit of a a bit of a curve in there because it's matching the commentator now you know this is a this is a curve on this surface right here um, when the brush is new there there might be a little bit of a of a of a radius but it it probably not they probably look more like the end here which is a, basically an angle right there so the reason why i wanted to run the motor was to make sure that this brush would make as close as possible contact a hundred percent of the way across in the width and and it has <clears throat> I can see just only slight spots uh, on this end on this side over here where it it's not uh, it's not quite seated in yet so the more contact you have with your brush the less chance you have of arcing when the motor be, uh, comes under load so that's what we were wanting to avoid we have a really really nice commentator uh, because uh, you know you can tell that it has been cleaned and probably machined um, and uh, so arcing would pit the commentator so that's what uh, that was what I wanted to achieve there so I just thought I would uh, make a little video there and explain that and that's why that's why I uh, broke the motor in gee I hope I put that in there the right way I did so there you have it and like I said these are pretty simple it's just a spring it keeps pressure on the brush and there we go so that's the reason why and uh, hopefully that helps you understand now this motor has four brushes in it and I would imagine all four of them would look typical of that one so it's all cool and I just wanted to uh, run that by you guys and show you that's uh, that was the reason for running the motor and we ran about three hours and that would uh, and it would appear that those brushes are seated probably 95 percent so we're in good shape alright guys take it easy